The woman accused of hitting four teenagers with her car is free tonight after bonding out of jail. Prosecutors charged Tamika Pledger with four counts of reckless aggravated battery. However, the district attorney says he believes the collision was most likely an accident. Now, this is the scene from that crash that happened on Friday afternoon. Paramedics rushed four teens to the hospital that day, and today we spoke to the family of two of those teens who are still in the hospital battling serious injuries. Shown in this picture on the left, a smiling and happy 17 year old who was a member of the Gateway High Steppers. The photo taken on her birthday. And then in this picture, you see a 14 year old full of energy. I just want everybody to pray for them, keep them in prayer. They are Desiree Golden's younger sisters, and both of them were hit by a car in a Friday crash. Golden asked that we not release their names, but said they are both students at Wyandotte High School. The 17 year old is now in stable condition, according to Golden. She loves coming to work always. <laughs> And she was very fun. She was part of a drill team, actually. And she likes cheerleading. She likes all of it. It's the 14 year old who is still critical, she says. She has multiple broken bones. The family tells us the girl probably has several surgeries ahead of her, so doing what she loves is now in question. She's really fun. She likes to play sports. She's a big sports, she loves it. And she likes to sing and dance and play with her nieces. She's, she's an outgoing girl. Golden says she doesn't know why her sisters and two other teens were hit Friday afternoon, but says there was a fight before the crash. Today, Golden told us the accused driver of the car, Tamika Pledger, a unified government commissioner candidate, is a cousin to their mother. I know who she is. I don't hate her or nothing. I still, I, I love her. And I'm sorry it happened. Now, Golden is continuing to ask the community for their prayers for both of her sister's full recovery.